Good morning, loves. Happy Saturday. I hope you're having a beautiful start to your weekend. Hope it's amazing. I am jumping on with a quick message about how to access instant euphoria. We're gonna have so much fun. Um, this is one of those things where if I had had this while I was experiencing depression, anxiety, overthinking, all of the things that I like have experienced in my life that like sucked the joy out of living for me and made me want to just like, well, honestly, it made me want to die. Like this is, this is a heavy topic and I've spoken about it before, but it really did. It made me want to not want to be on the planet anymore. And one of the things that has helped me so much is knowing that um, I can access euphoria whenever I want. And I want to explain to you guys how to do it today. Um, stick around to the end because I'm going to be talking about my new 30 day challenge and I'm going to offer you guys an opportunity to access it as well. So you're going to need like a secret password. So stick around until the end. Uh, it's not going to be very long, but it's going to be really fun. And you're going to be glad you stuck around. When, when I was struggling with depression and anxiety, one of the biggest things that I think I really felt was like the heaviness of it. And what I really struggled with was the fact that you guys probably know this feeling, the fact that our neural pathways are so unbelievably like set in their ways. Hey, Ricky. Hey, beautiful man. Ah, it's so weird. You're like right like around the corner from me. This is so weird, <laughs> but cool at the same time. Um, our neural pathways, I think of it like a path. So if you walk a path through a forest, for example, the path that you walk, if you walk it over and over and over again, hello, if you walk it over and over and over again, it's going to get worn into the soil. And that's what it's like with our neural pathways. If we think the same things over and over and over again, the path becomes well-worn. And our brain, not knowing any better, just goes, oh, okay, this is the path we always go down, so why wouldn't I go down this path? It's like driving the same way to school every day. It's like, oh, of course I'm going to go this way. Why would I go any other way? I wouldn't even think to go any other way. What happens in transformation and when we're switching out of fear into love, when we're switching into like um, euphoria and joy and peace, there's a switch that happens. And all of a sudden, like our brain switches on and goes, oh, actually, well, it's probably a heart first that goes, oh, there's actually a new pathway over here. So there's this path that I've never tried before. I'm going to go this different way to school. And it's probably not even going to lead me to school, but all roads lead home. So it's just, it doesn't matter where it leads. But it's like, the same trepidation that you would feel about trying a new way to get to the same place is the same kind of trepidation that your brain's going to feel when it starts to create new neural pathways in your brain. And the way to override this and the way to get to this like super quickly is to take all the fear out of feeling joy. I put, hey, Samantha. Oh, hey, beautiful woman. I messaged you the other day. I hope you got it. But I put a post up about this yesterday slaughter is literally just laughter with an S. Slay fear with love. I mean, slay fear with fun. And when we learn how to interrupt and disrupt our thought patterns, because honestly, all your depression is, and I know this is going to be super triggering, all your depression is, or it might be, it might not, is the same neural pathway that you've walked out a thousand times. You're addicted to it. You really are. And it's not through any fault of your own. It's not because like you're a bad person or you're weak or you're wrong or anything like that. It's just that you have always had the power to continue walking out that path or to choose a new one. And the quickest way, what I'm going to teach you, like what I'm teaching you today is how to interrupt that pattern or like the quickest way to interrupt that pattern. What I'm teaching you to do today is to jump from one path to the other. And the fastest way to do that is through fun and is through joy and awareness, like awareness, like knowing that, okay, I'm going down, not the wrong path because there's no such thing as right and wrong. Morality has no place in this field whatsoever in my field. Morality, morality is bullshit. Um, it's not true. It's not real. It's knowing that you can interrupt your pattern at any moment. So whatever the thought is for you, and it's going to be different for you probably than it is for me, depending on what like your fear is, depending on what your resistance to euphoria or joy is. But for me, it's like, 
I'm exactly where I'm meant to be. It's actually, you know what it is? It's emptying out my mind. It's imagining in the moment that there's like a spark of energy coming up from the base of my spine all the way through my body into my mind and blowing out all of the content from my mind. So it's like, I imagine just this beautiful ball of, like I imagine this ball of energy coming up at me like, poof, and I blow my own mind. And it's really fun when you know, even just knowing that you can interrupt your pattern, Like even just knowing that, how empowering is that? How empowering is it to know that actually I'm not this pattern that I've walked out a million times. I'm not this like path that I keep treading. I am the awareness of the path that I'm walking. Bringing your conscious awareness to the fact that you are walking and have been walking out the same path almost your entire life and knowing that actually I'm gonna take a different path. I can choose to change whenever I want to. So what I do in this situation, there's like little things and tricks and tips and tools that I can teach you. And they're they're the kinds of things that I reserve for my one-on-one clients and people that I love all of you, but people that I'm really like invested in and connected to um, because they are also similarly invested in and connected to me. um, That is, they work with me in my one-on-one containers is like, but the gist of it and what you can implement right now is bringing awareness to the fact that you are walking out the same pattern, taking yourself back to the point that caused you to go down that path. So it's like you're walking down a path, you realize that you're walking down the path and you bring yourself back to the point where you started walking down that path. And what was it? That's what you ask yourself. What was that? What was the trigger? What was the light bulb? What was the thing that set me off? And this is, <laughs> and this is like where bringing We bring our awareness to this moment, to this point in time. And it requires effort, especially at the beginning, because your brain is like a freight train, right? Especially if you've been like, if you're super depressed right now, if if you're super struggling, your brain has been, it's not anymore, because you've got awareness now, now that you've watched this video, you have awareness, but it's like a freight train. And it's just like, zoom, zoom, I'm off. I know where I'm going, I know where where I've been, and I know where I'm going. You have to have the awareness, the self-control and the willingness to say, actually, you know what? I'm gonna choose a new path for my train. I don't know where this path is going. I don't know what's gonna happen on this path, but I know that there's a different path and it doesn't have to be this one. Um, One of the things that I love doing is like bringing, obviously bringing my awareness back, sitting with in my body, the feelings that are coming up and then telling myself the truth about the situation. So the biggest truth, the one that you need to know more than anything is, Nothing and no one has power over me. Biggest thing you need to know. When you bring it back to that point, hey, John, hey, beautiful man. It's like, it's so much easier to be like, oh, okay, cool. So whatever this situation is, whatever the the story is that I'm telling myself, it doesn't actually matter because nothing and no one has power over me. I can create whatever I want out of this situation. Bring yourself back to that still point in time and then choose a different path. Choose a path that's like wonder. And just be like, this is what I do sometimes. I'm like, I wonder, hmm. I wonder what would happen if I did this. I wonder what would happen if I did that. I wonder what would happen. And being completely unavailable for going down that other path. Like, I wonder on this path. And wandering down it and being like, hmm, interesting. I feel like, I feel you in the sense that sometimes there's fear. Sometimes there's trepidation. But in ultimate reality, you guys, there is nothing to fear. Literally nothing. Literally. And so when you understand that, then you can be with your fear and be like, oh, okay, cool. Awesome. And I think like so much of this is about, it's not about, it's about how you relate to fear and it's about your relationship with fear. If the second that fear arises in your body and you feel those sensations, you close down, then that's what you need to change. You need to find a way to make fear your bitch and to become the master of fear. Like it's all about your relationship with it. Anyway, bring yourself back to the point. Trust and know that actually euphoria is available to me right now. Like right now in this moment, know that. I've said it. I know it's the truth. You can say it and you can know it's the truth. Euphoria is available to you right in this moment. Um, one of the things that always works for me, and my intuition's like, yeah, you can say that, is <laughs> like, we're on a spinning ball, hurtling throughout a space right now, around a giant 
gas, flame. Like if that doesn't like blow your fucking mind and just like bring you back to the reality, if that is even the right word, but like the cosmic joke of this whole situation, if that doesn't make you just like, oh, lol, that thing that I was stressing about, lol, lol. It brings you back into what life is actually about, which is the joy of the experience, which is seeing, watching, and knowing ourselves for the truth of who we really are, which is like actually like just experiencing the joy. That's all we ever need to do is like experience the fucking joy and, and listen to our intuition as we like collapse timelines and all the things, but we'll get into that later. But it's like, you guys, zoom out. Like just know that my secret to it is like, imagining the truth of the situation which is that you are like the center of your universe absolutely and a god of your own creation absolutely and you're also a spinning ball of cosmic stardust on a giant rock hurtling throughout a space like it's just it's so it's like it's the cosmic hilarity of it all that just brings you back to <laughs> okay and you were loved and the universe is a friendly place. That's like, that's the last thing I'm going to say on this. The universe is a friendly place. And this is like, yeah, knowing that and making that decision for yourself, that the universe is a friendly place, no matter what. It just like, it's this automatic, like, boom, fast track. Oh, okay, cool. There's another, there's another path. doesn't matter how depressed you are. doesn't matter how many times you've walked down that old path. It's like, oh, okay, cool. I'm just going to jump to this one and see what happens. What is life? Right, Josh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what is life? Literally, what is life? Like, it's just, it's cool. It's really cool. Um, yeah. Okay. I am running a 30 day immersion. It's like a 30 day. It's so funny watching people when they start to talk about their offers, get like really freaked out and creeped out and be like, Oh, and by the way, I'm running this thing. And like, Oh, and it's just, it's so not an issue for me anymore. It's like, oh my God, it's so cool. Um, I have my coach and all my mentors and all the things to thank for that. But yeah, just knowing that I can sell myself with ease. I have this 30 day email journey and immersion coming up. Well, it's already started. Um, and I'm going to put the link to it in the comments. So if you ha actually no, I'm not, I'm going to DM the people that want to be a part of it. Cause this is something like actually sacred and special and so close to my heart. Cause I've been, I infuse so much of my energy into this. You guys, you have no idea. So if you've loved this video and you love like, obviously you do cause you're still here. Um, DM me. And if you love listening to my energy and feeling my energy, you're going to love and what it does to you. You're going to love this. Um, email, DM me, don't email me, DM me and say, hey babe, just because I love to be treated like a queen, can you please send me the link to sign up for 30 days to yay? And it's going to be so much fun. Like it's so much fun. It's going to be so much fun. Um, yeah, that's all I want to talk about. This is like, I don't know, you guys, I do know, but I also don't know. Like this life is so, and so beautiful and it's so like, And I hope this inspires you no matter where you are and no matter what you're doing to just like stop walking down that same path. It's a dead end. You know that. You actually know that. And if you didn't know, now you know. It's a dead end. It's just going to lead you exactly back to where you started. Um, try a new path. Try the path that's like, hmm. I, I get the fear and I get the trepidation, but I also like it's not, I don't let that stop me. It's not an excuse. It's just like, oh, okay, cool. Going down a new path now. It's fun. It's really fun. All right. DM me for 30 days of yay. We're going to have so much fun. And that's all. That's it. Have a beautiful... I also have one-on-one -on -one immersions that you can work with me as well. So if you want to get actual like laser focused on your goals, we can talk about that too. Also DM me and also go through 30 days of yay because it's just like, it's incredible and you'll get a better sense for me and what I'm here for and what I do. All right. I love you. Bye, humans. See you in our next video. <laughs>